Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Homebrew on your Mac. It is really simple and it is it is one of the first things I always install when I first get a Mac. So Homebrew is essentially a terminal based package manager. So packages can come in the form of maybe frameworks, libraries. If you're a coder, you definitely want this. And even if you're not a coder, it's just a really great way of, you know, keeping all your patches, managing it. And there's also a far part of it that allows you to install applications as well from a ever increasing list. And I'm going to show you all of that stuff right now. First of all, let's just create, I mean, let's install it. If you go to brew.sh, I'll provide the link to everything that you will need and literally copy this command. It's pretty simple. It's really simple, actually. Copy this, go to terminal. You could also just do command space and search for terminal. You could, you know, search for it here. You could, you know, go to your launch pad, you know, or the application folder, however you want. And literally paste it here, click enter. You'll start downloading and installing Homebrew. It will probably take longer for you because I've already done this. So this is gonna be really quick. See, it took a few seconds for you. It's gonna go through a lengthier process where it's downloading, installing, and yeah, it's just gonna take longer, but that's just because the first time. Okay, so now to actually use Homebrew, use the command brew, for example. And if you don't type anything after it, it just provides you with some example commands. So brew list is a good one that will show you everything you've got in store. So brew, no, uh, sorry, brew list. We'll get onto the install command in a second. So brew list, so this is everything that I've got installed. So GLFW, GLEW, I use that for OpenGL development. You can install, there's also SDL for development, SFML as well. And you can just easily install these stuff. So I've also got a EPCXE emulator. Okay, so what we can do is search for a particular homebrew. So if you want to search maybe for, let's say SFML, which is a programming game framework, search for that. And we get this here, we get, you know, what version it will install. If you were to install it right now, you know, the sort of, you know, what it depends on, but any dependencies, it will install itself. That's another beauty of, you know, Homebrew. It's not just that it'll help you install packages. It means that if it depends on anything, it'll install them as well. But to actually install this, for example, the, I actually prefer a different website. So let me go to that. So if I type in homebrew commands, I actually prefer uh, not this one. Sorry, homebrew packages, brewformulas.org. I prefer this one. So if I type in SFML, so this just provides, you know, Oh, something went wrong apparently. Don't expect it. Okay, let me try it before. So if I do GLW, which is for, you know, OpenGL program. Okay, it doesn't seem to be working at the moment. I'm going to try a different browser just in case that is the case. So let me try pin homebrew packages. If not, I'm sure it'll be working later on, most likely when you watch this video. And homebrew packages, where is it? So I type in, so if I click on any of these, nope, it seems like there's a little problem with the website for now. So, so if we just do it from here, the way we can install it is, so if you go to this, this will actually show you, you know, what essentially it is doing if you're interested in that. If not, that's fine. And you go to terminal, type in, Let's clear all this. Type in brew, install, space, and then, you know, this library, whatever it is. And the title will be here. So it's SFML. SFML. This will download and start installing SFML. So obviously, as you can see, I've already got a version installed. It was 2.4.2.1 is upgrading it to 2.5.1 so it's a great way of just keeping it managing it allowing you to upgrade stuff it's just it's just a really cool thing
Okay, so that's installed. So to use something like that, obviously, depending on what you install, you might use it a different way. Because this has from our own need to create some sort of programming project. So what else can you do with it? So let me show you. If I go back to the home page, go to Brezel Formulae and Casks. So in the formula, you can see every single one. Again, I prefer the search of the other one, um, but hopefully that'll be working soon. So you can have a look at what is available. But these are usually packages that other applications or you know applications that you're trying to create or link to basically you know depend on. But Brewcask is basically applications themselves that you can install through it so for example for example if i go for firefox have i actually i've got firefox installed what do i have nope i don't have opera installed so i'm going to install opera so to install it you do i'm just going to clear this brew cask install then you know where the command is opera so if we just wait for a few seconds for this to download it and install it okay so i'll actually explain the benefit while it's downloading it so the benefit of using this instead of going and downloading files manually application manually is one you don't have to go and manually you know find that executable you know that zip file whatever it is two sometimes the installation process isn't as simple as just opening up an executable three you can manage all of them you know in this one thing and the pro and four the process is sometimes different for each one but for this you do brew cask install and then you know you put whichever you know whatever application you're trying to install and if you do Brewcast install again for that application, it will just update it. So it's a great way of updating it as well. As you can see, there are a lot of you know applications. This is almost done. But let me show you another part. So if you were to go back to the home page, so brew.sh, from here, if you went to server documentation this will you know show you more information about it if you want to learn more about you know the libraries that are used you know the programming behind it and you know you know just in general so there's some cool tips and tricks as well so if you want to like if you want to get some information about a previous version you can just brew info and formula is essentially the actual you know application so if i do brew info SFML, for example, that will show me that version, and you can switch between versions as well. So it's great, you know, for having multiple versions and then being able to switch between them as well for whatever reason. And again, you know, there are other commands that you can check here, and I, I highly recommend them. So now, um, what's going on? That's installed. So now, if I search for Opera, as you can see, it is now installed and it wasn't in the application folder before, but it is over here now. And we can just use that as if we, you know, downloaded the application from the internet ourselves, you know, by going to opera.com for example. So that is it. That's how you install Homebrew on a Mac. That's also how you use it. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.